So, hello everybody. We are back with our first session. We are already joined by our first guest for today's uh, talks. And uh, yes, a big welcome to Vincent Chatar, Chief Operating Officer at the Mauritius Commercial Bank. And Vincent is going to introduce us to the activities that um, has conducted in order to bring the bank to new agile heights. Welcome, Vincent. How are you doing? Hello, guys. I'm very well. I uh, hope uh, everyone is is safe and fine. Um, it's uh, the first DEF CON uh, remotely, um, but the idea is that uh, we'll update you like the two last DEF CON on where, where MCB sits in its, uh, its journey. Um, on, uh, on Agile and what we did deliver so far. Uh, give us a blast for the next 40 minutes. Cool. Um, so I'm Vincent. I'm the Chief Operating Officer. So I'm looking at uh, various aspects of the operations of the bank, including technology and as well as the digital transformation. So that's why uh, I, will, I, will, I will do this, uh, this Agile hate thing. Um, so, just to introduce you a bit the background side of Mauritius, um, in corporate or, or some some part of, of uh, retail, um, deliver world class customer experience through digital, and that's exactly what we're talking about here. And nurture our value and deliver our brand from for us to to leave our value as as MCB. Um, so the launch in June 2018. So it's been uh, two years now, over two years now, and uh, it's in Harbour Front, not far from uh, where, where I sit right now. We, uh, I'm sitting in the MCB Tower in, in Galway, but it's next to the to to, to the sea uh, on on the front next to the motorway, and you have a, a very welcome um, setting. Uh, obviously. It's uh, it's uh, kind of a bit has been a bit empty, but now it's uh, it's buzzing again after the COVID. And the idea is to a lot of things there. Uh, the the new way of working, a startup culture, um, and, and and all these things to to be more flexible, more nimble. Uh, as we are a big bank, it's important for us to reinvent ourselves. Um, so just to give you an idea, we were 14 June 2018. And we're about 130 today. So that was quite a, a big growth. We have seven customer journey. Uh, we have the data and advanced analytic team, um, the different chapters. Um, we have 70% of MCB people and 30% MCB as consultants. Or, um, and we have very diverse teams. So we have a a blend of uh, continent uh, of uh, Africa, of uh, India, uh, even we have Australians or Jamaican, and uh, we have 42% uh, female, which are we're quite happy with because it's uh, it's good to have fe uh, female in tech, really. Um, so the what we've been working is to building capabilities. So how did we build capabilities with this this uh, agile uh, methodology? We're using a Spotify model. Um, we have some chapter leads. So chapters are product design, engineering, architecture. Uh, we're building communities. We're upskilling the people. Uh, we are creating new roles such as data scientists and advanced analytics. Uh, and really one of the other main I mean, the blood of the of the transformation here are people, um, and we, as a traditional bank, we we need to recruit these new people, this new blood of people. So we had some internship programs to actually hire people uh, and, and nurture them during during a period. We did hack to hire, and we are also launching uh, some digital academy. One is the mobile academy. There is a, a data academy. Uh, and we are doing trying to find um, new ways to actually have all staff and people who want to join us train into 
a maturity on the, the, the various aspects of the technology or, or the non-tech chapters. Um, one very important thing is we've invested a lot in technology. Um, so there's basically three big pieces we put in place. Uh, Camunda. Camunda is, a, is, is an open source uh, workflow. Uh, is BPMN 2.0 uh, compliant. That means that it's uh, following uh, some practice in terms of, of, uh, of workflow design for the bank. Um, and it's, uh, it's basically an engine. You need to, to, to put some, but it's been very, very powerful and very well adopted by both the technology and the non-technology teams. Uh, we're implementing Backbase now. Uh, an omni-channel is basically covering everything which is in touch with the customer, uh, and it will speed up all delivery. Uh, that's a banking omni-channel, obviously, but covering mobile, internet, branches. Uh, and also behind the scene, we have big middleware things. Um, we're growing the, uh, the digital ecosystem, um, so it's, it's funny here you have the kind of pre-COVID and now the post-COVID, which is the new normal. Uh, the pre-COVID, we had a lot of uh, MCB hosted events. Um, we had a hackathon uh, in OVAP where we, where we put everyone in, into, in, into a the canteen in obviously this year, like DEFCON, we will not uh, do that, but we still have some sponsored events and, and we risk something we hesitate to do at the beginning, but now we're full steam there. Uh, we, we, we joined the, uh, um, the FinTech Association for Mauritius um, and we really want to, to, to be in this ecosystem of, of FinTech. Um, one thing that happened to everyone was the lockdown. It's kind of uh, went very fast. Um, as as MC, we, we had four levels uh, of alerts, and we went through from level one to level four in, in two days. Um, as for the factory and the new way of working, uh, we've invested heavily in, in the likes of, of team, Microsoft team and, and, and the rest. And, and that went very well. Actually, we have now a, a, um, a so virtual meetings on, on various subjects. We, we did, uh, we, we did uh, hack at home. Um, so basically having developers doing some competition online. So basically, um, everything non-physical um, and we try to entertain the spirit uh, in, in this difficult period. Um, one thing is we have that uh, town hall uh, where there is a uh, next to 100 people connecting so it's quite impressive and then we share different subjects that's kind of good feeling to to keep the, the work going on and actually um, during the uh, during the, um, uh, the the lockdown, we didn't lose that much productivity. Somehow we gain a bit. Um, somehow we, we we lost a bit. We had uh, new uh, new um, priorities, obviously, 
um, because of the COVID situation, but things continue to work, which which is great. Um, now, it's about agile health. So what we did this year is we created a business and within the SME, we put together as quickly the commercial people, uh, the operations people, and then the squads which were nurtured in the factory, which are have been two squads up until now, uh, which are the onboarding for opening an account as an SME, and also Juice Pro. So, so we extracted that these squads of the factory as an incubator and put them into into the business unit. And it's very interesting to see how this blends because you can see the developers which are uh, basically working already in kind of a, a of an open environment with, with their non non technical colleagues but now they're in the heart of the business and that's what we want to achieve for the whole organization obviously that will take a bit of time but that's a great experience to trial on a kind of a smaller thing than 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 retail this new way of working. Then what it is, we extend the implementation of, of the uh, of the way of working beyond the intimation we're doing at the factory. What does that mean? Is we completely reorganize IT, uh, which is now called technology, and we have not only reorganized the development part, but also the infrastructure and operations part. And basically, just to for you to understand, even for the technical people, we have squads. Obviously, in these squads, you have people which are uh, system engineers, uh, uh, OS, uh, network, etc. But the team up for servicing the developer community or servicing the end user community. So we, we apply the same principle, but with very technical things. And we also apply engineer, the engineer or the system engineers are now, now in this engineering chapter, where, wherever they sit. And what we did is we try to collocate them with their colleagues from business. So, for example, the credit uh, team, uh, which are working on credit, they're collocated with the credit people. Uh, so beyond the factory, we are starting to doing this into the bank. Um, and that's the same for architecture, QA, and the other chapters. What we did also is we created a product chapter, so that's non-technology, that's more business analysis in some in some ways. And instead of being focused on the different systems, we are focusing on domain. So functional domain for the bank is account and deposit, payment, credit, trade, etc. And then you have domains which are cutting across, such as workflow, document management, uh, data warehouse and, 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 and the lot. And, and right now we have 30 odd people uh, and which are spread across different squads within the factory or outside of the factory. And it's very important to, to actually build that because we don't want to have that factory um, alongside the bank, but we want to import that practice into the bank. So you see it's so three readers. We had a cetera, I will go a bit uh, But where we are right now is we started experiment, experimenting the business banking tribe. We are doing the collocation. You see, you even have the picture of the people who, who did it. Doing the agile part. So basically what I just explained. And then we have the further uh, oops, agile branch where we will extend that concept so new height is this side of the tree. It's quite ambitious. Right now it's working. People are very well engaged. Now we need to see a result. Because obviously that costs a lot of money and we have the board saying, well, all that's good, but what do you deliver? Um, so what we've been delivering so far, obviously there is this big infrastructure that is much more flexible and this more flexible way of working, uh, but then there are some concrete products. So one thing 
So you won't see that in the news, but it's Catalyst. Catalyst is a new system for the foundation of individual lending. So basically, when you ask for a, a mortgage at the bank, you have to give all sorts of paper, uh, there's all sorts of valuation, and there's all sorts of, of people which will say whether you can get a credit or not, and etc. And it's a very it's it's using Camunda that uh, that workflow, and it's not only systems, but it's also reorganizing business process and uh, reengineering, if you want. That's now quite mature. We will launch the mortgage application onboarding uh, soon, and there will be a lot of new products on the market using that workflow. But one of those was the household support scheme and actually that delayed some of the projects we had but we we had as at the bank to refinance uh, or to 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 make some returns uh, moratories for the customers whether within the uh, bomb scheme or whether our own scheme and instead of having and and signing papers and etc we did everything kind of online uh, so we had a website, etc. It's not only the, the way to post your application, it's also all the processing to get that authorized by, by. And we over, uh, automated that heavily. We had 3,000 applications and that worked. And if we didn't have that uh, catalyst workflow, there's no way we could have done that. So we think that's a good example of what we've been achieved. Now, we have the SME account opening journey. So, uh, waiting for the um, digitalization, so basically with uh, the authority allowing us to do electronic QIC, right now we still to do have a visit at the branch, but everything else is online. And, and also, there is processing time. So before it was taking like more than two weeks, often three weeks, to open an account. Now it's in three days. What does that mean? There is all sorts of checks you need to do before onboarding a small enterprise. And we try to take these checks so that turnaround time key for the, for the customer for that process is being reduced. So that's one of the delivery of, of the factory. Another is Juice Pro. Juice Pro is a new juice. Um, at the beginning, having a, a lot of functionality, but it will come quickly. And more importantly, the Juice application is reserved for individuals. So if you're a company, you can't do it. Because behind the scene, you have some mandates because you're a director, you et cetera. So it's a quite different uh, application um, for steel payment and stuff like that. Um, but more importantly, this Juice Pro was launched on the, on, on, on the new technology. So it's, a, it's a much more flexible, much more easy to integrate and grow. Um, so it's a kind of a, a, a trial for this new technology. Um, and we were we 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 had a, a great turn up. We had 1,000 uh, users subscribe in one month. And more, most importantly, because on the app you can have uh, people which are downloading the app but don't do anything. But we had activations, a lot of activations. Another one is Hermes, is the friend of uh, Catalyst, but more on the uh, on the uh, corporate side of things. So again, that's a very big investment. That doesn't show right now, but that will show gradually uh, over over the next uh, the next few months. Um, well, uh, the idea is that the directors, instead of going to a good old fashioned or internet banking, um, they will have that into a a, a mobile form. Uh, it's not a it's a web responsive app. It's not a it's not a native app, uh, but then they will be able to actually validate all the payments of the salaries or what they have to validate. And it's been very, very well taken by our customer. And also we've introduced through this journey straight through processing. So now all the, the, the payments are, are really straight through. So there's no intervention and uh, it's 24 by seven. And we'll introduce new new function where your payment sits into the transfer. So whether it reach destination or it's on its way internationally. Obviously. This this is for corporate as well. And this is a very, very big innovation 
and very, very, very well received by our customer. And now what we have is the juice. So right now is we are at juice 3.7. Juice 4 is on the new technology. So we've been working on that to have the, 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 the new uh, engine there so, so that we, we actually do better than the, the current juice. Advanced Analytica, just a little thing on that. Um, we, we've been working all sorts of, of putting together all the bits and pieces into, into models. And we have, for example, cross-selling algorithm, which are based on AI. And when you come to a branch, you, you may be proposed with the next spec sofa. And this next spec sofa is coming from a, a, a model. Obviously, we, we are very aware of GDPR. We, we getting the authorization from the customer to do these things. That's quite good. It's starting to, to show results in terms of, we see the commercial thing, but also fitting, um, it's also to help the customers and the, the branch people to, to, to get the right product uh, across. Um, we're also uh, using that same kind of techniques to do some uh, money laundering, anti-money laundering. Um, so basically, you have uh, each time there is a hit on a name or whatever, there is an alert. And there's so much alerts that it's, it's kind of massive. So we're using these algorithms to reduce the, the rate of false positive. Because the big thing is you have a, a big, big number of false positive that they can be dodgy things. And then you need to identify that this is, uh, this is a real positive. That's why you're using that. So we're trying to reduce that. It's a, it's a big program as well. Um, and uh, the next one is really to use that on credit scoring. So credit scoring right now is based on on rules. So if you earn that kind of money, et cetera, et cetera. But that's basically not based on, on behavior and the fact that that type of person did reimburse the bank or not. Um, so this is very exciting, the credit scoring with uh, artificial intelligence and the segmentation as well is to actually uh, know and improve the customer segmentation to, to actually optimize the way we're servicing that. The way forward, um, we want to continue doing what we do uh, and reinforce the Agile at scale initiative across the bank. So this is, we, we, we quite well into a journey, two years in our journey. Um, we thought it would go for three years. I think it will go for four years, but at the end, we should apply what we have right now within the bank. And as you saw, in terms of the technology team, we did the transformation. So I'm very happy because things are, are moving in, in a nice way and people actually and uh, some people uh, are, are, are a bit uh, worried about the change, but most people are very, very willing and, and, and the satisfaction of people, um, developers or, or, or non-tech uh, is really, uh, it, 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 we, we are monitoring and it, it's, it's going in the, to the right direction. Um, we want to also decommission the old tech. So right now we're a bit, in between, we uh, and then we have a lot uh, uh, old tech, and the the idea is that you need to kill the old tech, otherwise the old tech will just stay. Um, so that's quite a, uh, that, that's quite a, a big uh, challenge for for the next year. Um, as I mentioned, setting up academies, um, training people on the island on native mobile development. Um, on the on data etc so that's uh, something we we are looking with some academia or, or some partners uh, and also being into the ecosystem um, so hackathons meetup defcon um, and and the fintech association um so that was uh, my update for the year um, I'm open to questions now.
So that was really a lot of information regarding your digital transformation. And um, it seems that it was also a heap of work and a lot of manpower involved here. Um, Vincent, I recently saw that actually um, MCB had been featured um, on the um, Backbase website as the customer success story. So I think this also underlines um, the way forward that you went uh, with the digital transformation, with the agile approach at MCB. Um, are there any other uh, aspects in, in regards to uh, with your cooperation partner uh, in, in your moving in your uh, in your activities to move forward that, that you might like to mention? I think we 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 we're working with with with, uh, with partners and and Backbase is quite an exciting one because it I think it they they really got it in terms of the of uh, of servicing uh, uh, the, the the modern the modern banking um, mm -hmm. even for example and it's not so much on the digital transformation but with uh, Oracle we moved all the ERP to the cloud. So I think we, we, we're there, we, we, we're recognized as being a good customer or a show <laughs> customer, we'll put it that way. Um, but I, I think that's, that's good, but it's uh, at the end of the day, what we want is to deliver Juice Pro. We want to be more efficient. We want so people to, to use the right technology. So it, it's a good to have, uh, yep. but it's not a name uh, as just for com. Speaking of Juice Pro, I mean, in my situation is that I'm a long-term user of your of of Juice for the personal accounts, and um, so far I've only been using internet banking to manage my companies. Um, can I? easily run Juice and Juice Pro on the same device in parallel, or are there any any issues? Oh, there's no issue. I mean, you, you can download Juice Pro and re register for that, uh, and you oh. will see your, 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 your company accounts, etc., that you can't see on, on your Juice uh, application. It's a separate okay. application, okay. so it's not the same as, as Juice. You need to download it uh, um, as a separate app. Um, and the and the internet banking will continue to work um, behind the scene. The it's the new technology for Juice Pro and the old technology for both the uh, the internet banking and the, and the Juice app, and eventually all that technology. That's great. That's really good. All right. Thank you, Vincent. So one question here is that. You started by mentioning that MCB is obviously a traditional bank and uh, moving forward from where the bank was to where it is today with so many journeys and things going on in parallel. So what, how did you go about convincing the people that's the direction that the bank needs to go? Well, first, I mean, you don't want to be like Kodak or Blackberry, right? Um, so you need to to do something. We we have the privilege to be big on the market, quite resilient. Having uh, it's a good structure, MCB, right? But if you just stay like this, um, you'll be like Kodak or <laughs> or BlackBerry. So you, you need to evolve. That's that's clear. Um, so everyone is conscious about that. Then when you deal with money, the, obviously the board is a bit less uh, enthusiastic about it. Okay? Um, but even this year, and you see we, it's quite big in terms of uh, money. I won't communicate on, on rupees, but uh, it's quite big in the money. And, and even this year, we'll, we'll still be recruiting 20 odd people. Uh, and, and in the current climate of uh, of budget restriction because of the COVID, et cetera, that's, that's quite big. Um, and now we have to, to show, and I think that's the trick, everyone recognized that what we've been achieving is working. But now we need to cut what we've been doing before, because if we are not optimizing the way we were working in the, in the bank and we still have a lot of, of people doing manual processing and you just automate 
a little part of your thing, it's just um, lipstick on the big uh, on the pig. It won't work. So you you need you 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 need to achieve the uh, the ad scale to benefit from this program. Um, so mm -hmm. that's why I challenge with quite a lot and uh, and the pressure to actually scale up and, and and cut the old things before. Otherwise, we'll have a double cost. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All these new products looks really exciting. Hope we hope all this can be used by the Mauritian market really soon. So you mentioned about um, recruiting people like this year because it seems that the technology business it's the area that will continue to expand for MCB. So what is the bank doing to like encourage these tech talents to work for MCB? Well, I think there's this digital academy, there's this internship, um, there's also working differently. I, I, I do think that in the uh, in the squads now we have people which came to, and not only technology people, but design people, product people, etc., which didn't see themselves working for such a brand. Um, so the brand name is important as well. I mean, it's a stable. You want to, to work there, your parents want you to work for MCB because it's stable, but that, that, that is a bit boring, right? It's a bank. Um, so the, the answer is to make work fun to work for a bank, which, which is challenging. <laughs> and then to, to use the, the right technology, not, not the old technology, so people get excited on, on what they do. For, for, for the good of, of their skill set and for the good of, of, uh, of, of, uh, of the infrastructure and, 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 the, and the speed we can deliver change. Yep, yep, indeed, indeed. I mean, it's not the first um, location that uh, somebody would might uh, expect to have um, state of the art software development uh, and and uh, the methodologies um, within the bank because you know bank always have this kind of touch of being dinosaurs in, in, the, in the tech industries and a little bit behind. And they are the big names, IBM, which is already around for a century, uh, Oracle, which all seems to be quite heavy and might be actually scary for, for particularly um, students or fresh graduates. So I think with, with what you presented in regards to um, your agile approach about making it attractive for, for also for young people and, and talent, I think this is a great um, um, way forward. And I mean, your participation as a partner for the virtual conference, uh, as a speaker, even in previous events, um, the other activities that uh, you provide, actually, uh, you provide um, the, the digital factory workspace for, um, for community meetings. And um, out of that, uh, I mean, this also shows that you are connected um, with with the the developers, with the scene, with the IT field that is happening here in Mauritius. So I think this is a great great approach uh, to go forward with that. Um, Sherwin, do we have any more questions from the live chat, please? No, nothing from the live chat. All good. Okay, then. Um, Vincent, thank you so much for your time, for all the effort you put into your talk and presentation. It was a pleasure for us to have you. Um, again, big thank you um, towards MCB being a long-term um, partner and supporter of our um, activities, whether it is the monthly meetups, whether it's the annual conference. Um, thank you for that. And with this, um, I would say we, we head out into the break. Vincent, thank yep. you so much. Thank you Great very much. Stuff. Thank you a lot Have and uh, enjoy the conference, guys. Bye-bye. What's your takeaway from uh, Vincent's session? 
Yeah, the big takeaway here is the ability to move from such a traditional bank and to move into so much initiatives to digitalize the banking processes. I think it's a very smart move and very bold move also. And I think that would be very, very helpful to continue to keep MCB as the leader in, uh, in Mauritius and also in Africa in general. And mm. I also take note that uh, there is like still in, like investment in, in the tech despite going through the COVID situation, that also mm. shows like the direction of the bank, like they believe in technology and that's where they want to go. And that's that's a really good sign for, for Mauritius in, in general. And yeah. I hope like this also gives some hope for, for all the young young generation watching us today. Like the direction like companies in Mauritius are taking regarding technology. Definitely, definitely. And I mean, um, you working at MCB, you working in the digital factory, I mean, you have a direct connection about what is happening on a, on a daily basis. Um, I think the, the, the recent chapter about the past month was not um, highlighted or not enough em emphasized during the talk, I think. How was your experience since the beginning of the pandemic here in Mauritius, since the Lockdown. How is it for you? How has it been for you uh, working, continue to work at the bank during the past month? Well, from a technology perspective, no major change because we are all working remotely. And at the moment in my team, I have like some of my team, team members and colleagues are working from South Africa, there are people working from India, and we are now a distributed team, even though the company is based in Mauritius. So as, as uh, Vincent says himself, like maybe COVID accelerated the digital transformation of companies. And that's very funny, but it's true, right? And I never thought like when I joined the company some years back that I would be sitting in Mauritius and working with teams located in uh, in Europe, in uh, South Africa and India, that's that's amazing. And uh, yeah, OK. Yeah, actually, this reminds me of, of one of the, the I've seen it already some some months back. There's a there's a fantastic meme in in the form of a poll. <laughs> it's like who is responsible for your digital transformation? A, your your CTO. B, your board of directors. <laughs> C, your project managers. Answer D, uh, COVID-19. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> we're living it. I mean, it's it's actually, it's not really a meme, even though it's funny, but um, apart from the bank, what you just said, I think a lot, a lot of companies worldwide uh, have been really kind of pushed in 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 a in a way to to move forward um, in order then to to establish or to enable the the, the possibilities of um, remote working working from home uh, working as distributed teams and I mean I, I'm seeing it I mean I like the fact that um, something like uh, an institution like a bank. Um, can easily move forward in these kind of, um, you know, constraints and restrictions. And uh, it's, it's pretty impressive to see that, um, as you mentioned, work continued with as good as no disruption or interruption. So that's really great. Yeah, or even if we can say less disruption, because I take note that people are more focused working from home. And that's the, oh. the general feedback from from the teams here. Okay. It's like, yeah, less, uh, less commute time, which I really like myself because it's like more than one hour to travel to work every day. Now I just need to wake up, switch on my laptop, and I'm at work. <laughs> and that's, okay, that's yeah, really I, nice. I, I, I... I hope there are some more teachers in <laughs> waking up and going to the PC. Yeah. It, it usually happens in different order, depending on what time we wake up. 
<laughs> oh, I mean, it's great. It's great. And I, I really love it. I love the circumstances that, yeah, large, large institutions and companies like, like a bank, like MCB, is actually capable to, to handle that uh, very easily. And yeah, traffic here in Mauritius, oh man. I, I think this yeah. is not a topic we should get started on. All right. Um, we are we are good with the session. I mean, it was great to uh, to hear from Vincent about uh, the changes, the progress over the past years that they went forward with. Um, for now, I would suggest we we have a quick break. Stay with us. See you around. Mm -hmm.